Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Rotor Talk Live, Season 4, Episode 22, Xeno Mini Pro YouTube live stream coming soon. Hope everyone is doing well this evening. Couch in behind me. Love seat, all right? We'll get a grand tour. The room is almost together here, so I'm going to be doing a grand tour. Hope you guys are doing well. We got a lot to talk about tonight. Got a lot of people in the house already. Stephen Ewing, Steve Mack, Matt Cundiff, um, Michael Wright's in the house, Drone Shots. Uh, see who at Leonard Oglesby, Gene Fox, um, Bill Thomas from Coast to Coast Drones is here. Floyd Motes, welcome, Floyd. Hope you guys are doing well this evening. Um, got a lot, lot to talk about here. Uh, Marcus may be joining me for the second half. Not sure about Ron, but we're going to get started here. Okay. Um, <laughs> the the news is, you know, we keep getting a lot of news here. And one, you know, um, as far as like regular news and updates, um, let me give you a little clue here. Okay. One of the things that I do, I go out and I search, there's some sites that I search to try to get some good news. And I search drone XL, I search drone DJ, um, Sally French. Um, they're the main ones that I go out to, to get news and information and things. And um, just kind of like, that's what I wanted to talk about for news and updates, just to let you guys know that. So, um, now, one of the other things that one of the things I wanted to talk about here, um, there's a lot of news regarding the Femi X8, okay? Um, Mini. Okay, first off, there is there was a update, a pretty significant uh, a firmware update that is supposed to take care of, of, of the horizon tilt issue. Now I know Marcus, um, hopefully he can he can shed some light on it. But it sounds like it sort of took care of it. Matt Cundiff, if you have any more news on that, if you can enlighten us in the chat, that would be great. Um, apologize for the lighting in here. I'm working on it, guys. <laughs> just just bear with me here, okay? I, I got another I got another lamp. I haven't put it together yet, and that's that's part that's part of the thing. That's part of why the camera and that's all that kind of good stuff. So just to let you guys know. Okay. So there is an update for the app for the, for the mini. Well, for, for Femi period. And unfortunately, you know, it's do, doesn't sound like it really took care of the issue. I mean, you know, it, it is, it is that hundred pound, you know, million pound elephant in the room with Femi is always when you talk about them, you know, it's horizon tilt and here we go again. So, and how long has this been a problem with them? And how long have they had to try to correct this problem? Okay. It's been a while. Okay. It's it's been it's been more than a minute, let's say here. Our code drone solutions is in the house. Let's see who else? Fly guy Merrill. Um, DeMarco Moore is in the house. Welcome to market, DeMarco. And Speed Limit Challenger is here. I hope you guys are doing well this evening. Okay. Um, you know, one of the things with this okay now i got some other updates as far as the femi mini is concerned most of you know i went ahead and i canceled my order with b h photo all right because they weren't showing in, in fact i got an email from them that says you know there's no update they have no information and i said you know what enough's enough so i went ahead and i ordered through aliexpress and i was able to get, you know, I'm sh I should get one probably about June 20th is its expected arrival date with that. Now, because uh, because of being a content creator on YouTube, um, and I know several others have gotten this offer as well, Femi has offered to send us the battery that brings the weight to 249 grams. So I'll be getting a free battery from them. And again, that's sometime in June. So by the time by the time my um, Femi Mini arrives, I should be having a second battery for it as well. So, and of course, you know, I'm gonna gonna put it through its paces. I'm gonna do all the calibrations before I take it out, and we'll see what we get here. You know, it's like a mixed bag. You don't know what you're gonna get. So, stay tuned for that. That's coming up. That's that's some updates regarding that. You know, I think it's pretty exciting. I think think we got. You know, this really. <laughs> 
uh, excuse me. This really is the year of the mini. So this is this is what this is this is what we got here. So, um, but it's exciting and it, and it's good news. So um, stay tuned for all that. Um, seems we have have a comedian in the house here. So um, let's go ahead and take care of that comedian. All right. That comedian's been been taken care of here. Um, so that's it. That's it for the Femi X8 Mini. Um, you know, be be on the lookout for more updates from them to hopefully correct some of these issues that they're having. Uh, it just, you know, uh, it, it's a, it's a mixed bag, it, and it really it's it's like. Did you get a good one or did you get a not good good one? Did you get one that was made on a Friday or a Monday or did you get one that was made in the middle of the week? So, um, so that's so so that so that's the deal right there. All right. Now, one of the other things that just came out and there was an update to the DJI Fly app. Okay, uh, V one dot four dot three. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and we're going to see what that update entailed here. Let me go ahead. I'm going to bring that up. No, that's the, let's see here. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and share the screen. All right. Now here's what it covers. Now, um, V1.4.3, what's new, adds connection guide for DJI FPV to check how to connect to DJI FPV combo, adds color display assist when using D-Log to check color effects directly in camera view, available with DJI Air 2S, fixes certain issues and optimizes overall app quality, okay? Now, one of the things that's not on here, and um, if you guys watch Henrik, okay, he has a great channel. Um, I think it's Tech Time is, is the name of it. Anyway, he did a demo of the app. And one of the things that it does add back into this is the ability to charge your phone from the, from the remote controller. So, um, you know, that's a good thing. However, one of the things that's not a good thing is, um, one, is now for those of you who have Android, you know you have to go out to the store and you have to go to DG. And, and down, download the DJI Fly app. Look what app is out there for Android, okay? Uh, V1.4.2, okay? They haven't updated it out on the store yet. And, you know, this gets to be kind of old after a while here, all right? Um, you know, when Apple's coming out with theirs first and then Android kind of just lags behind there, well, you know, they need to realize, being meaning DJI, they need to realize, you know, there's just as many Apple users as there are Android. I mean, I really think it's a, you know, it's it's not more Apple or more Android. I think it's pretty equal. So need to need to kind of work on that a little bit here. So um, yeah, so so that's you know, I, I found that to I found that out to be kind of interesting, you know. Um, not having that out there, not having that available, um, you know, just one of those things that for me, you know, I think, I think DJI really kind of needs to get there to get themselves in gear. Okay. And, and get, get rolling on that kind of stuff. So, um, but find out, we'll stay tuned. Now, remember last week I reported to you from what Osita Lev said that the DJF Fly app is eventually going to have live streaming, okay? Um, so stay tuned. I also told you Lauren was in the chat, and Lauren told us a bunch of information. Says, you know, that's just the that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot more goodies coming coming with the DJF Fly app. So stay tuned. That sounds like there's a lot going there, um, and this is definitely signaling, um, you know, the end of the DJI Go 4 app, which is which is probably right. Because the the four app can be very confusing, especially to a new drone pilot. The fly app is so much better. Uh, I I can't say enough about that. It re, it really is. It uh, I have I have absolutely no problem uh, about that. So so yeah. So that's what that's where that's where that's at. Um, so stay tuned. There's going to be more stuff coming up with that. 
Now, I haven't heard anything more on a Mini 3. The only thing I have heard is that you can expect it probably in November. All right. That's that's what I've heard. All right. So kind of expect that coming up in November. Now, one of the other things <clears throat> that I want to talk about, and I don't have a graphic to put up on the screen, is you probably, those of you who um, I know Marcus has talked about, I think Marcus and Ron probably talked about it on, on Drone Nation, but DJI is temporarily suspending their affiliate links, okay? No reason given. And it stated that you had to have your monies out of there by May 26th. And, um, you know, I made sure to turn mine into, into DJI credits so I can be able to buy things at the store. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sell them to get some, get some money for the channel. But I find it real odd. <laughs> you know, I, I think what DJI is doing, I think they're phasing this program out, uh, to be honest with you. Um, I think, you know, they're trying to cut corners every place they can. I mean, for 30 days to suspend this, okay, it's it's really signaling the end of this program, to be honest with you, okay? Um, and it's going to upset a lot of people, right? So a lot of people have made a lot of money. I've made a lot of money from this, okay, over the years, okay? And every bit of that money, just let you guys know, okay, it does, didn't buy this house. It didn't buy a car. But it helped buy the drones for this channel, batteries, cases, things that I review. Okay, nothing, nothing drone wise. I've not received a drone from DJI to review. Okay, that's never happened. DJI, if you're listening, if you'd like to send me one, I'm good with that. I don't have a problem with that at all. But just to let you guys know, that's where that's where that's at. So you know. I'm ambivalent about it. Um, you know, it's just, it's just the way things are. I mean, you know, it's, there's, there's nothing you can do about it because you're dealing with a, a big company and they make a decision and, and, and that's it. And they've been kind of get a little hanky as far, as far as, as the affiliate program, there's been a lot of, a lot of suspensions and things. And, um, you know, they, they've suspended things overseas sometimes and, and now it's everywhere. So who knows if it has to do with the political climate, anything. But I think it's more geared financially. I think DJI is trying to cut corners and trying to turn more of a profit. So we'll see in 30 days. I think it's the end of June. We'll take a look in July, see where things are. We'll report back on it then. So um, Johnny's in the house. Lauren's here. So solution, no one can buy a drone for 30 days, Lauren. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, a, that's a good solution, Lauren. I don't, I don't think that's going to happen though. I think people are going to, you know, people are still going to do it. You know, my question is this is, okay, what if somebody uses an affiliate link during those 30 days, after those 30 days are up, does it still get reported? I don't know. You know, we'll, we'll find out at the end of those 30 days. It's going to be real interesting. Um, Johnny, well, gl glad you're here. Um, Ted Bowman is here tonight too. Akrashero, Crypto Man 5000. Um, good to see you. Okay. All right. Well, you know, that's where, you know, that's where things are with that affiliate program. But I wanted to mention that I didn't have have a graphic to put up there to talk about it. But I thought it was important enough to mention because, you know, a lot of people, you know, a lot of channels, everybody you see. OK, um, you know, for the most part, you know, they just you have to disclose in YouTube that you have affiliate links in there and, and everything, you know, and and it's the same thing, um, you know. Most of us here who have over a thousand subscribers who are monetized, you know, do this and do this for an income. And, you know, it helps buy the products that we review. OK, pure and simple. I know Marcus does it. Um, you know, Ron, I, I'm not sure if he's hooked up with that or not. Um, does it? You know, it, it it can produce some good income at times. But, you know, that's when drones are selling well. OK. And I'm not going to say they're not selling well. It's it's like it's kind of slowed down a little bit here. So, all right. So that's where that's at as far as that's concerned. Um, but I thought it would be interesting to take a few moments to talk about that. Now, the Mavic 3, and I know I've had some questions on that this week, have not heard any more news on that. Now, um, you may have seen, I think it was, I'm not sure if it was, could have been, I, I'm, I don't know if it was Drone XL or Drone DJ, 
um, showed some sketches and some parts and just what it could look like, you know, and it's, it's very hard to tell. It's, it's too, it's too vague. So I don't, I'm not even, I mean, you can go out there and look and I'm, and again, I think it's probably drone XL. Mm -hmm. I think Hey probably had it out there for you guys to look at. Um, DJI has key people. They do send their products for testing ahead of release. They're not under the issue. They don't usually say much. Yeah, under the drone. Yeah, yeah. Like Kelly Shores has has, has gotten it. Rick Smith has gotten it. Billy Kyle has gotten it. Aldrin Astacio has has gotten that. Okay, and you, these are usually they send them um, to YouTubers that have over a hundred thousand subscribers. Okay, and that's a that's a tall order. Okay, you know, to do that. And, and I'm let me. You know, I, I know I've congratulated him, you know, out on Facebook, but a hearty congratulations to Billy Kyle because he is now at 100,000 subscribers. Um, and if anybody has deserved it, it's Billy. He puts a sincere, wholehearted effort into everything that he does. And kudos to you, Billy. That's a job well done. And Bill, we here at Bill the Drone Reviewer are very proud of the hard work that you've done. And we'd like to have you on sometime. So that's a hint, hint. Okay. Let's, let's, let's get you on the channel sometime um, for a rotor talk live. That would be good. It's always good to have you on here. Okay. Um, you know, one of the things that I have to say that has been very interesting lately has been the focus on the minis. All right. You know, DJI has really kind of honed down on, you know, you know, that they, they, they have they've started this mini revolution, so to speak. Okay. And and I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna be on my soapbox and I'm kind of like G Man, Gorilla Man, okay. Um, has come out and said, you know, we weren't we weren't beta testers, we're alpha testers with the Femi Mini. And he's probably right. They they put this out so fast, they put it out faster than they wanted to. They didn't have time to go out and properly beta test this, okay before they send it out into the public. And, re and really, you know, I know he said alpha, but we're really beta testers. We're the ones that are putting it through its paces, okay? Because you're seeing a whole host of issues, you know, everywhere, all right? Um, and even these guys that have these good videos, there's still some shake, there's still some, um, you know, horizon tilt. There's all kind of things going on with this. Um, you know, some precision landing works fantastic, some it doesn't work fantastic, you know, those kind of things. Well. Hubson has come out now, is coming out. And on June the 10th is when we project it to be released. Um, I went ahead and I purchased mine through Hubson USA. So I'll be getting it as soon as it comes out. Um, and Hubson USA does ship very fast. And because I found out a lot of people ended up buying the Xeno 2 through Hubson USA and got theirs well ahead of time, well ahead of everybody else. So that's why I had went ahead and made that decision instead of ordering from a source like Banggood or AliExpress um, for that. I'm really hoping that they're going to have good news with this drone. Okay, there, there's a lot. There's a lot coming out on this drone. Okay. Um, hey, Mikey, thanks for stopping by. Yes, everybody, make sure you check out Mikey after you're done here, and I'm sure Ron would appreciate that too. June 15th. Okay, Lauren, thank you for that. Uh, so it's June 15th is, is availability now on, on the Xeno, Xeno Mini Pro. So, you know, it, it's coming. And one of the interesting things, and this is something that I wanted to spend, um, spend some time talking about is um, now Hubson had put out a couple of videos today. And they're very short videos. But, you know, the first one is... Let's go ahead and I'm going to share my screen. Let's go ahead and share the screen. Okay. Now, Xeno Mini Pro YouTube live stream, um, June 5th, 2021. Okay. And all this really is, is just they're telling you um, basically on that date, they're going to be doing a YouTube live stream, okay, from from the platform, okay, which is really interesting because I'm going to flip over to this video, okay, and this video goes over 
how, and, I, and I'll drop a link in the description to make sure that this is in here too, through the Hubson, you enter it through the Hubson 2 app um, and it tells you how, how to do it. And it sounds fairly straightforward, okay? Um, she's a live streaming platform, YouTube in this case. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and enter a title and an introduction on there if you want to. Live broadcast created and it's running. And then it tells you if you wanna stop, you end the live stream like that. So, you know, they've, they've added this option on here, which, you know, I think this is great because right now, okay, if they come out with this before the DJI Fly app is released with the live function, you know, that's a win for Hubson, all right? Um, you know, because DJI has had a myriad of problems with live streaming from their platforms, okay? The Go4 app, the only time I ever had any success, um, any, any success that was consistent was with the Go4 app on my iPad Mini 4, okay? And that was when I would, would fly the Phantom 4 Pro and also the Mavic 2 Pro. Um, that seemed to work very well on those apps, okay? Or on that app and on the, on the iPad Mini 4. But when they tried to get it on the smart controller, it was a disaster, okay? It was a total disaster. Um, you know, their, their procedures, it was, it, it was, it was so difficult. Okay. Now I know Mel, he put together a great workaround. It worked for a while and then boom, it just, it didn't work again. And people constantly emailed DJI support, everything, you know, and it, at first it only, you know, it worked with both Facebook live and YouTube and it was great. And then all of a sudden, it just you you couldn't get on through YouTube because of Gmail issues, and it, you had to have a Gmail account, obviously. But you know, it, it was just it was very problematic, and it it would it would literally it would stop right in the middle of you trying to do it. And and you know, there came a point in time it just people just gave up on it, and you know, forms people were were just. You know, complaining about it to DJI, to, they they would send they would send mail they would send emails to DJI support, and you know DJI support would would you know give them the standard canned answer, and really nothing, really nothing happened because of that. And you know, I think that's very frustrating. I think it's very frustrating for those of us that wanted to live stream from the platform but couldn't be able to do that. I, I think that's that's really something that you know. People, people can get kind of frustrated with, and I think they were people were very frustrated with that. Now Hubson's come out with this, okay, and obviously you know it's part, it's already, it's already in the software, it's ready to go. So when the Xeno Mini Pro hits, you know, one of the things that we're going to test is that live streaming platform, that capability. Um, so stay tuned, you know. Um, I'm a, I'm anxious to see how that works, okay. I mean, you know, check out the videos. These are very short videos. One's 19 seconds. The other one's 36 seconds. Um, the one the one that shows you how to do it. And, you know, I'm not sure if how well this is going to work. I think that that's you'll find out on 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 the fifth. That's going to be very interesting. So it's one of the things I would suggest for you to do. How does it live stream on the Femi X8? Um does it work okay? Um, I never, Gene, I never tried it on the Femi X8 SE 2020. Um, you know, I suppose it's, I think it's on the minis software. I'm not sure. Matt Cundiff, Matt, if you know, chime in on that. Um, I'm not real sure. Um, I, you know, uh, I, again, I never tried it. I never saw others try it. I know, I don't think Marcus or Ron have tried it on the mini at all. But um, Matt, if you know anything about that, please chime in in the chat. Um, again, I, I really don't really don't know anything about that. So um, that's going to be really interesting to see how that pans out. Um, you know, I'm I'm hopeful. Okay, now I'm hopeful about Hubson with the Xeno Mini Pro. 
I'm hopeful of about this live stream platforming. <coughs> Excuse me, about this live stream platform working. I think it'll I think it'll be a good thing. Um, and if Hubson can 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 get this Xeno Mini Pro and do everything that it says it's going to do, it'll be king of the hill for a while, and that will be fantastic. I really think so. Um, No, oh, Matt had to run. Okay, Steve, thanks. Thanks for letting me know. I appreciate that. So, Matt, if you're watching the replay, if you could drop a comment in there and let, let us know, because I know, uh, you know, you you have your connections with with the Femi guy. So, um, let me know about that. Drop a drop something in the comments. I think that would be great. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's just that's just one of these things that you know, I don't know. You know, I I I, I don't know about that, and I, and I think. That's something that we all kind of need to explore is, 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 is this, you know, and the Xeno Mini Pro is going to really, if it's, if it does everything that it says it's going to do, it's going to knock DJI down a notch. Now, again, that's going to be until the November timeframe when the Mini 3 comes out. Now, you know, the Mini 3 is probably in pre-production right now. They probably have working um, prototypes going. You know, it, it's going to be it's going to be real interesting to see the features that the Mini Three is going to have on it. You know, is it going to, you know, expect it to pass up the Xeno Mini Pro? It probably will, but we'll see. You know, um, so stay tuned. It, it's going to be real interesting. And you know, Marcus coined the term, I think, the year of the Mini, and you know, I'm. Um, I don't know if it was Marcus or what, but, um, you know, or maybe, or, or, you know, or maybe Ron, it's probably true. It really is. It really is the year of the mini. And that's what we're seeing right now. Okay. Now we all know the Mavic three is going to be coming out, um, this year too. And you better save your nickels and dimes. You better, you better make sure that there's a lot of money in that piggy bank because it's going to set you back quite a ways. Okay. I can, I can tell you that right now. All right. Um, it, it, it will definitely be setting you guys back back a little ways. That's that's going to be the long and the short of it, as far as that's concerned. So, um, but yeah, um, real Mini Three is finished and already being tested. That's what I thought, Bill. That's exactly what I thought. You know, you know and it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun to see what kind of features on them are, are going to be on the Mini Three. Um, you know, you thought you know with the Mini. It did well, you know, and then the Mini 2 comes out and it totally blows the Mini 1 out of the, out of the water with the feature set that it had. And I'm sure, you know, Marcus has said this time and time again, and I agree with him 100%. It's every time DJ comes out with a drone, they think of a feature that will wow you that you haven't even thought of yet, okay? Um, more often than not, they do that. And I think that's a big appeal to a lot of us with with this. So stand by, stay tuned. We'll see what's going on with all that, okay? I think it'll be real interesting. Um, you know, for for me, I'm really I'm really excited about these you know, the Xeno Mini coming out. I'm actually I might just get my hands on the Femi X8 Mini too, see how it does. Um, you know, hopefully, you know, they can work out issues with the Mini with the software, the Femi Mini. And hopefully this Femi Mini or, or, the, or, the, or the Xeno Mini Pro is going to be everything that Hubson claims it's going to be. So we'll see about that. And, you know, this is this is where we're, where we're at right now. Um, you know, and a lot of people have gotten the DJI FPV. They, they've loved it. Um, you know, uh, Mr. Ron Brown, how are you, sir? Hello, Bill. How are you tonight? Uh, welcome Hi. everybody out in the chat here. Let me pop the chat on here. Um I'm glad to be on the show tonight, uh, and I, I want to give my condolences on air. I mean, I know Bill lost, you know, one of his best friends, man's best friend, uh, recently. I know it's been a rough time for you. You said that dog got you through a lot of um, a lot of tough times. Yeah, it's been it's been it's been it's been a rough few days here, and and I got a little tribute coming up at the end. But thank you very much, Ron. We really appreciate that. Both both my wife and I do because. Um, they end up being family members. I mean, it's, you know, they, they are, are every bit as much a part of your family as a human is. And 
um, you know, it's just it's 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 heart wrenching. It really is. It, it really, really hit really hits hard. Um, I know you probably saw I know you, you've seen both now that um, I was just talking about the Zeno and the live streaming option that they're going to have with that. What are your thoughts on that? Well, you I mean it's something that uh, you know DJI seemed to have ba abandoned with the Fly app. Uh, it no longer offers any live streaming features, and even like um, probably the first sign of it, them getting away from it is when they never really made the smart controller live stream. Well, I, I don't think anybody's really you know uh, without a lot of hacking a solved live stream with smart controller. So basically, if you want to live stream with a DJI drone, you have to hold on to your older models. You know, like your old fa uh, Phantom Fours, or you know, um, I guess Mavic Two Pros with the standard controller to actually be able to live stream anymore. Is that pretty much the way it is, Bill? Yeah, that was the only time, and I, you, you said exactly what I had just said was, you know, the only way I could live stream was with the Phantom Four Pro or with the Mavic Two Pro, and and it was, and it was mostly I would use the iPad Mini Four because that seemed to that seemed to work the best into doing that live streaming but even then it was a little problematic because you had to sign into your gmail account and then there were issues with that and then it wouldn't recognize it for some reason and it they got, really jumped it through the hoops oh my gosh and it will and it got very convoluted on the smart controller i mean it, it really yeah. it just got and it got crazy stupid i mean Mel had a great workaround for a while, and then and then all of a sudden the bottom fell out of that. All of a sudden, a firmware a, a firmware update arrived, and boom, no no more works. I know some people, especially Android, have found like ways around it, but it's it's way too complicated for the average drone person to go out there and, and work through these moves. And it's kind of a shame in this day and era with five G becoming um, pretty plentiful now. I mean, I have the T Mobile. And I have 5G on a, on a lot of my way from New Jersey to Florida. And with 5G, that would allow you to even you know, do better live yeah. streams than you did in the past. So it's a shame that the the speed, it, the internet, the mobile internet speed has kind of got to where we need it now. But now they're, they're backing off. So um, I tried the Hubson live streaming on the Zeno 2. And, uh, you know, it, even in the house on the home Wi-Fi, it was a real hit or miss whether it worked or not or or whether the, you know, like you didn't get that robotty uh, thing or whatever. So um, hopefully they've done some work on this new version of it. I hope so, too. And, you know, well, I had just before this, we had talked about the update to the DJI Fly app, uh, the one four three dot one dot four dot three. Well, mm -hmm. you go out to you go out to um, DJI. And the Android version is still for download is 1.4.2. So they don't, they don't even have it ready for for Android yet. Well, well I, I think we talked about this a little bit last night. Now I'm not a, I'm I, I you know I have no experience with the Android, but I think what what the four what the 1.4.2 is, it turned off the option for iPhone users to be able to toggle the on off switch when they wanted the control of the charger or phone. Where mm -hmm. I understand that. Android, it just automatically charges your phone. You didn't have the option of toggling off. Right. So then 1.43 came quickly followed because what 1.4, what 1.4.2, it killed, not only did it kill the, the button, but it killed it working at all. So the, the 4.3 was just to fix it work again. So in other words, I, there won't be any, there won't be no need for an Android version because it only affected a feature that was only on iOS. Yeah, yeah, that makes that makes sense. But you know, it's if like, I understand correctly, that's my best working knowledge because I have no knowledge from the Android side. There was just, I mean, it was something about um, they changed the color profile and something to do with oh, that, yeah, that the, it was with the FPV drone, it, it yeah. changed some kind of a what a connection type yeah of, connection uh, with the uh, FPV drone. Or, yeah, we, we we didn't get anybody to explain that last night on on the show. What how to affect the FPV drone? I'll ask Mikey about it tonight since he flies that FP, that DJI FPV drone. Yeah, I was kind of curious to see how that how that how that played out with that because there wasn't a lot of information and not a lot. There there wasn't anybody who had done a video on it. I went out went out there to oh, take a look at things. Right, and a lot of people have that FPV drone, so it's surprising somebody like uh, you know some Aldrich or somebody didn't pop up. Uh, a video right away. Yeah, I was expecting to see something from somebody, and I didn't. I went out there to try to find something on that, and there was nothing. Now, um, I went ahead, and I also let everybody know 
that I did order the Femi Mini and I did order that through AliExpress and should be coming about June 20th or so. But, you know, I also- And just, and just in time for the big firmware update to solve the Horizon issue that just came out yesterday. I it, it, it looked like on the website that was only for the bigger um, Femi X8, but it, 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 I did the firmware update last night. And indeed, it, it was for this little drone too. Okay. I didn't get a chance to test fly today because we had high winds today, but um, it, it did it did apply to this drone. And there's there's Mr. Phoebe himself, the <laughs> man who basically launched the Phoebe X8 a couple years ago. Well, thank you, Ron. In fact, the reason, Bill, that I was messing around is I was working on an edit yesterday. Right, well, right before Drone Nation, I was out testing that new Phoebe update. And so I put together the video today, and I was working on that uh, edit, and it's uh, it's rendering right now. So uh, am I going to see a nice level, super <laughs> level horizon? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, you know, it's listen, guys, it's better. There's no question; it's an improvement. And kudos to Femi for working on it. Clearly. I guess the good news for me is that they recognize it's a problem and they're working on it, right? So, so that's good, and it is better, but it's but it's not perfect. And you'll see in my video, is it good enough? You know, I'm almost, I'm going to say it's good enough. You know, it's not it's not as good as what we might see on some other drones, but it's not DJI. Well, but let's also put this into context that Femi X8 SE is a drone that often you can buy. For 350 bucks or even less, at most it's 400 bucks. So you know it's it's a bargain at what it's priced for. So you okay, know. Then, well, let me since you put that in, let me ask the second question: Is is as flat as a a, a Hobson uh, uh, Horizon? You know, Hobson does a good job with their Horizon. So no, it isn't as flat as the Hobson. No, uh. -uh. I got no. a question for both of you. Okay. And, and I know it came up in the chat. Now, the Femi app had the ability, to, it, it supposedly it says, to live stream from there. Okay. Have either of you tried that? When Marcus sent me the X8, the first X8, the original one, mm -hmm. I, I, I briefly tried it. But, I mean, I, I, say I messed around for a couple of minutes, didn't get any place, and never revisited it again. Marcus? No, I was you? just going to say, say the same thing, Ron. The only person I know that tried it was you when I – when I sent you the 2018 version. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Cause I know cause somebody asked that question in the chat and, and because I never tried it, um, you know, somebody, I had no clue it was available for the, for the X8 SE 2020. I had absolutely no clue about that. But my, my thing was, I was kind of sketchy that it was going to work in the first place. Okay. Yeah. Um, and, and I just, you know, again, it's not that big of a deal to me. So I wasn't going to mess with anything. And let me, let me, and why I, re I say this, let me recap my experience. When I got my Phantom 4 standard in whatever year that came out, Bill, I, I bought the year it came out. Okay, it had live streaming right out of the box. And guess what? You you got to that part in the app. You typed in your whatever, you, your Facebook, uh, I mean, your YouTube. What, did Facebook or YouTube? You know, YouTube, Facebook, you typed in your username, your password. Bit of bad, boom, it just worked. I didn't. I didn't have to go search a million channels and type in, mm. you know, all these codes or whatever. I just put my stuff in and it just worked. Yeah. Ron, I love the sound effects. I can't do that like the pros can. Bit of bad boom. I can't yeah. <laughs> but 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 that but that's what that's what I want. I want I I want to I want to get something out of the box. If it says it had that feature, if it asks for name, channel name, password, I want to put that enter in and I want to go live. I don't want to have to watch a hundred YouTube videos and learn secret handshakes or whatever. Don't put it in there if it doesn't work like it should. Well, it looks like it's going to be fairly easy on the Hubson app. I mean, it from from what they showed from that video that that you posted on Drone Nation today, that that thirty six second video, it looks yeah. pretty straightforward. Well, this guy has thought. live streaming too. I've never tried, but I saw it in the app. Okay. It, it's in there someplace. I, I just scooted by it, but it, it's in there. So, Bill, my assignment for the next show, I will try to have, you know, I've tried to make it work by the time I'm on the next show. Well, one of the things that, and, and, and the reason for me, 
I, I would doubt highly that it works well on the X8 SE 2020. I think you guys remember there was that one certain part that I would hit in that lake and it was like, boom, okay? It would be like re return to home would engage automatically, lots cool. of signal, all that stuff, okay? So I have my doubts that it would wor work very well because I don't think the shielding is very good in the Femi X8 SE 2020. I really don't gotcha. because that's why I kept getting the, the, those errors. Bill, and I think you brought this up, you know, in, in recent, you, you know, last year or so. Lots of times these, I don't want to call them tool drones, but the the below DJI level drones, when they do have the live streaming, they usually you just have to click on enough buttons that usually give them access to your whole YouTube channel, you know, before they'll go all the way through. Like they they want permission. I mean, they're not gonna go do. It. They want permission to go in there and delete, you know. Oh yeah, delete you know, the videos. Stuff like that. They, they, they want a full. Yeah. Full, you know, connection to your channel, almost like they're an equal partner. And, uh, you know, and, and not that I don't, not that I think anything's going to happen. I mean, what, what, whatever the Chinese Secret Service is going to spy on me, they're not going to get any information that's going to help them whatsoever. But I mean, I understand why it's a security problem for many people. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's a, it's a real, it's a real hassle and a real headache. And, and, and you brought up a great point, Ron. You know, most people out there, because I got a lot of questions because I did a video. Now I saw, um, oh, what's his name? Um, it's from Virginia, from Virginia. He's friends with a QC guy. He's on his show. Um, oh, Chad, Chad boys. Chad, Chad. Okay. Yeah. I saw him originally do iPRISM live on the Femi X8 AC 2020. Right. Okay. So I translated it over to the mini two. I did a video. I've got a bazillion questions on it. Okay. I mean, just a bazillion. And the thing is, it had it had one of those procedures that you had to stand on one hand with your other hand up in the air to get it to work with Apple. Okay? On a full moon. And on a full moon, you know, and it had to be in the middle of the month and it had to be after midnight. You know, it was one of those kind of things. It was and you had to have this one particular version of Android. If you had yeah. any other version of Android, it wouldn't work. It was one certain, there's one certain, ver well, you know, I ended up doing it and then I ended up finding out, you know, there is a procedure for Apple. So I told people, I said, look, I said, you know what? I'm not iPRISM live. You need to ask them. Okay. <laughs> you know, I was getting all kinds of questions yeah. about it. And I'm like, you know, it works for me on Android guys. And this is the version of Android I have. This is the phone I have, you know, this is, this is where we're at. So I can never get it worked on iOS. Prism, Prism live will work fine for me from streaming from the phone. But once I tie it in with a drone or any other device, then it doesn't work for me at all on iOS. And I'm and I haven't tried recently. I'm giving you, you know, an old version of Prism Live, an old version of iOS, Marcus. Well, I was just going to say, Bill, if you want me to, I can show you a kind of a quick preview of the horizon on the. X oh yeah, yeah, please do. Yeah, that would be great. You always love to see a good flat horizon. That's a fact. So <laughs> I'm going to click. Uh, this is the flat screen. horizon channel here. Tell me when you got it, Bill. I got it, and we'll get it up there. There we go. Okay. So here we are. And, and as you can see, look, this isn't terrible. But this, the 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 right side is higher than the left side. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. Easy. My left side's higher. Well, that's, hmm, I don't know, Ron. Well, now it's getting worse. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, like I said, it, what, it's it's way worse when you're looking at it through the FPV screen with grid lines because then you can see, but you can see it's pretty tilted right here, and oh, yeah. and and watch as I move it. Oh, it, there, there, now, yeah, it now, down, now, it? It? it straightens out. So well, now, now the left side's getting high. And so now it's tilting the other way a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you know, I guess what I'm going to say is it's not it's not terrible. It's not. It, listen, we've all seen way worse. I've seen the Femi X8 SE way worse. So if that's as bad as it gets, I mean, I'm guessing that it's not like, you know, I yeah, don't know. What do you guys think? Because every time I would do a return to home with the Femi X8 SE 2020, okay, and if the horizon was wonky, it would it would straighten it out, just like you demonstrated right there. It would exactly the same thing. It would straighten it out. And for the rest of the flight home, it would look okay, okay? And then I'd take off again, and it'd be the same thing. It would just yeah, and, all over again. 
and let me say that that it looked way worse when I was looking at it on the FPV on my phone because of the grid lines on your phone. Yeah. You really see it. But then when you look at the full video and you look at it full screen, it's not as bad. You know, your your mind doesn't see it exactly as bad as what it looks like when you're looking at with grid lines. But uh, but it's there. And again, I want to say you know, at least they recognize it's an issue and they're working on it. And the fact that it's a sub $400 drone, you know, there you go. And, and with these type of drones, it may help somebody else more than it helped you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It may help somebody else's drone more than it helped your drone and maybe some other people's drone and it, it helped, helped even less. Hey, but, but Bill, before you got on, Marcus, Bill asked about the, the, uh, one of the videos helps to drop today. One of them was about the live streaming thing. We pretty much hashed through. You came on right as you finished up the discussion. Bill, you kind of uh, buried the lead here. What about the video helps to release later when they said on June 5th, mm -hmm. they're going to have a live streaming event and they don't give any specifics. But I mean, reading the crystal ball there, is that the day they actually show the drone and not just the computer graphic? Yeah. Well, a couple. Go ahead, Mark. Before, oh, go ahead, Bill. I didn't mean. No, to no, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, one of the things that I thought was interesting about that video is the the wording that they put in there. Is it real? Is it you know? So even even they know that there's skepticism out on the web. In fact, I, I think that was great that Hudson recognized what people are saying about it. And, and at one point, remember they even had somebody laugh. They put a laughing sound effect in or whatever. Yeah, so they, yeah. they, they, they know it's like they actually they're actually listening to comments and they made this video reaction of all the skepticism. And they're almost laughing at the people laughing at them like, oh, you want to laugh? You wait until the fifth. You won't be laughing anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, like they're going to shut some people up on the fifth. Yeah. Here's here's my take on that. Listen, well, you're awful silent there. Are you under? Are you under DNA on the on the on the? You know, you're not saying much over there. <laughs> so what I was going to say was that the the, uh, the the at the price point that they're asking for that drone, we have every expectation to have a drone that is the the same quality as what we get from DJI, because the price is even a little bit higher. So. So I'm going to look at that drone through a more critical lens than I otherwise might look at a Hubson product uh, because of the way they're pricing it and the way they're advertising it. It's It's got to be the real deal, and it's got to be the real deal right out of the box. I agree, Marcus. I could not agree more. You know, it's not it's not one. You know, let's 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 apply ten firmware updates, and and then we'll see how it is. No. It's got to pretty much go right out of the box, okay? And, and see, and, and here's and here's what I here's what I think, and you know, I, I know how you said, and, and you really hit the nail on the head. How when Hubson came out and announced this, this sucked all the air out of the room with with the Femi Mini, okay? It just completely leveled it, okay? Here's and and, and this and I and I saw this on a couple of forums today, and I wanted to run this by you guys, okay? What I think happened is that Hubson had this planned all along, okay? I think Femi found out about it, and I think Femi rushed to get the Mini out ahead of it being ready. What do you guys think of that? That, that very well could be. Uh, that, that, I, that, I, that makes a lot of sense, Bill. I think that very well could be. The, uh, th this, this drone is, you know, when Ron and I first got the original Femi uh Zeno, or excuse me, the original Hudson Zeno, uh, it was a bargain even at that time, right? So, as we there, were there, was not, for $300, there was nothing else in the market like it at that price point, yeah, yeah. And as we were working through some of the issues on that, I mean, you you just kind of knew that okay, I bought a less expensive drone and and it's okay, I'm okay. And and to Hudson's credit, they solved a ton of issues with that drone, and within a mm -hmm. few months. It was pretty good. This is just a very different situation because they're holding this thing up on a pedestal. They're charging full price for it. And again, I'm just going to say we have every expectation of having a full completed drone handed to us on day one. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Ron, what do you think?
Well, I mean, you know, kind of just what you're what Mark is saying. You know, this isn't your father's hops in here. You know, uh, uh, you know, th this is this is a you know this this this, this hops has got his big boy pants on, right? I mean, you know, it, it, it's it's got the future set. I mean, it it, it, it matches the meaning too in every way and beyond it in many other ways. Um, you know, so Marcus, you're going to also, you know, when you say you're going to you, expectations to compete it with a compare it with the, the, the mini two or whatever, you also have to, you know, you, you know, when you just simple things like flying right, having a stable rising new lens for the important, but beyond that, then you're going to, it's going to even seem a better price point if it does all these advanced features like active track, like, you know, all of those uh, features need to work. Yeah. Pe people no. love active track, right. You know, and, and I'm using DJI's their in-house term, but we'll just say, draw the box and track of somebody yeah. and it's a big it's a big ding on many people that the mini two doesn't have it especially people that live in foreign countries where the 250 grams import and where the uh, dgi prices there's like a, a markup on dgi products that make them much more expensive to people in australia and in many other foreign countries than here but, but they want they want tracking they want orbiting they want these features but they they can't pay Air 2S prices. To be fair, that's one of the things that Hubson has always done well is their automated features, the extra features that they add, always have worked as advertised. And 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 I think that's kind of a good point. And by the way, Ron, I love you have a way with words. I love it. Uh, the, uh, the, the they this drone needs to do what they're putting in their advertising. Now, a 40-minute flight time, hey, I don't know if we're going to expect 40 minutes. but Nobody, nobody hits the mark, not even DJI hits right. their time it, mark. It, it better be 30 minutes, right? If they're claiming 40, it better be 30. It better not be 20 or anything. Yeah, you're exactly, exactly right. Exactly right. And uh, the rest of that stuff needs to be spot on. And, uh, you know, like, like you said, Ron, there better not be a tilted horizon. There better not be a gimbal shake. There better be... You know, all that stuff needs to just be. Well, well, let's break this down. If they could just bring the Zeno 2 platform over here. Okay. On the Zeno 2, Horizon's good. Um, um, the, only, the killer for the Zeno 2 was the lens. But we know this has a whole new camera lens. So hopefully they threw out all those old parts of that old thing. They, they had to because it's going to be a, a much smaller unit. So say if you took the exi existing Zeno 2 or plus pro whatever and put put this better camera lens on it you would have a pretty good drone right there would you say so marcus well i can tell you this ron that i saw a reason a decent improvement between the original xeno 2 and the xeno 2 plus the xeno 2 plus was has been a much more locked down uh solid drone it's still the only knock i can really say on that xeno 2 plus is it still has uh, that lens flare? Not as bad as the original Xeno two, but it's still there. How how many? How about any gimbal shake? None. That was gone, and we saw that in the original Xeno two. Okay, so well, that, this, but this will have a whole new gimbal anyway, since it's a much yeah. smaller. They won't be using the parts from the other gimbal anyway. So I mean, I mean, there's there, there's you know there's hope here. And uh, again, you guys, do you really think you think the fifth will be the day we actually see a working model flying bill? Yeah, I do. I yeah. think I think we'll do that. I, and I think what they'll do is they'll do kind of a double shot on that. It will it will be you know we, we might have an inset of the FPV view and then a shot of the drone actually flying. Um, you know, I think I think we might see something like that because I think you know if if we see a drone flying, okay. It's easy to, you know, it's easy to kind of mimic, you know, it's the Hubson 2 app, you know, who knows what they're flying, okay? Unless you see that outside view of that drone flying, okay, you're just going to have to take Hubson for their word for it, but I don't think they're going to do that. I think it's going to be, you'll have the little inset in there, you'll see the FPV view, or it might be the, the big one with the inset of actually you see the drone. So, yeah, I think I think it's, the, I think it'll be the real deal. And that's what everybody's clamoring for, yeah. 
Yeah. Marcus, you think we'll really see the drone on the fifth? Uh, if, if we better. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we better. We, we better. It, 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 and, you know, it, it, a, lot, a lot of people are giving Hops a hard time. They keep saying, show the drone, show the drone. But really, when DJI releases a drone, like say the Air 2S and the, and the FPV drone came out this year, we, we didn't really see that drone, not counting the seat of a lever, somebody's leaks. But officially from DJI, we didn't see, we didn't actually see the real drone until just a couple days before in both cases. Is that correct, Bill? Yeah, that's correct. I mean, yeah. you, know, so, you just see those pictures. I mean, either drone DJ or or, or hey Kesterloo, you know, they'll they'll have something. They'll put it out there. They'll let you know about it. But it's usually still photos. You don't see any video. You don't see an, a, a whole lot of things here and here. But I I think the big thing is, and I think you guys would agree with me, and I think Marcus kind of hit the nail on the head again. Is you know, Hubson came out and they promised they they promised us the moon. Okay, on this drone. Okay, absolutely, without a doubt, you're getting the granddaddy of the mini drones. Okay, you're getting the Mac Daddy of it. Okay, there's nothing that's going to be better. So, Marcus is right. It needs to work out of the box. I mean, you know, when you set the platform the bar that high, okay, you need to, you need to exceed that bar. Okay, and that's what Hubson needs to do here is to do that. And I see. I think that's the thing that people has people uptight about this is. Hubson has not put out any any video from it. They've not put out a video of it flying. Okay, so I think that's why that's why a lot of people are like, you know, the old phrase from that movie: "Show me the money." Okay, <laughs> it's the same thing here. Show me the drone. And, and, and if they if it doesn't work as advertised, Bill, there will be so many reviewers throwing that thing so far under the bus. Mm -hmm. They'll never recover. Yeah, it'll be way out the other side. Yeah. Now, yeah. Hudson could, won't recover from this. And I think that's, and, and I know we, we've talked about this before, and it's so yeah. important to them because it's so important to them to get something out of the gate that is going to do everything it says it's going to do. I think it is. I just think my yeah. personal opinion, okay, they're not going to sink all this money into it and put all this effort and everything to have something to have a so-so effort come out of it. Because if they have a so-so effort, it's going to nosedive and they'll nosedive. Not going to happen. Yeah. But on the flip side, if this drone comes out and does everything it says it can do and, and do it, you know, reasonably well or whatever with, with no major you know, issues like crooked horizon, bad lens, they will build up such goodwill out there in the industry at this price that that halo, you know, they'll, they'll be able to ride that halo of, of, of this drone being, you know, again, you know, the best thing since sliced bread or whatever for the money. Yeah. And Ron, you, I, I think you made a point a while back that I think is worth mentioning again too, in, in that for these uh, companies like Femi, Hubson, uh, you know, maybe even Autel, these, these 250 gram drones are really an important product because uh, they, they really are going to be the kind of the the one that carries these the, the big mass market opportunity for all of these companies. No, no you're correct. Yeah, because of the drone rules and mm -hmm. and like Ron, you said the other day, you said, okay, so what if if Hubson came out with a with a Zeno three or whatever. There's probably a li relatively limited market for that, right? Because you already have drones like it the ATS and, and other things. But if they can come out with a mini drone that's leaps and bounds ahead, just hey, as you said, Ron, it'll give them a halo that'll carry them through. Marcus, the the mini the 250 grand mini drone, it's the folding drone of 2021. Like like. Like what was it, 2016? I think 2017. The Mavic came out, and when the, Ma the Mavic Pro One came out, and mm -hmm. that and that exploded the folding drone market. Everybody had to have a folding drone after the Mavic Pro was released, and now everybody has to have a good 250 gram drone under, not a piece of junk, one that one that could you know fill the needs of most hobbyists. That's a fantastic analogy, Ron. That really is. That is fantastic, Ron. That really is. Um, Guys, um, give me some closing thoughts, and then I have something real special that I want to show everybody. So go ahead, Ron. Uh, yeah, Bill, thanks for having me on. We, we had a great little discussion on, on the Hubson and the Feed Me here. I think the, the drones to talk about right now, uh, you know, uh, the Mavic 3, you know, who knows how far down the road is. But we got stuff to talk about now with these exciting uh, mini drones. So, uh, again, thanks for having me on. And uh, I, I, you know, I'm going to test the live streaming feature out of this drone. I'll report back uh, uh, next week with, awesome. uh, with my findings. Marcus. Awesome. 
Yeah, so I guess I've been really busy. Uh, I Yesterday morning, I flew the uh, Air 2S and tested out. Uh, it, it had a firmware update, and it had uh, that new, that app update. So I kind of put that through its paces. So that's the next edit, you guys, that I need to get working on tonight. Uh, but but and then and then later on, I, I of course with that Femi Horizon thing, I couldn't let that go. So I had to try that uh, out. So that like I said, that video is rendering right now. Other than that, I kind of put it off. I finished a really, uh, you know, some of these toy drones that I mess around with, they're way harder to review than even a better drone because a you have to learn how to fly them. B you you spend a lot of time putting a review together and then C it always becomes a very complicated edit, putting it all together too. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, yeah. But, uh, but, but I, I had one of the most disappointing drones that, that I've seen. Uh, so, and, and that video will be coming out pretty soon. I mean, it, in, in fact, it's disappointing. Uh, I think I showed it to you the other day. Let me pull it out real quick. Cause it just, it bugs me. I mean, it's because beginners are going to buy a drone like this. And, and they're going to have nothing but problems, and it's going to discourage them from the hobby. But this guy here looks pretty cool, doesn't it? The iCat 7. I like and, the name. And, and on the on the front of it here, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. It says the future is now. If, if oh, this, it has it right on the optical optical uh, avoidance sensor. Yeah, if this is the future, I'm done, guys. No more. <laughs> So, uh, you know, I don't, I'll get that video out in the next week or so. I, yeah, anyway, just, uh, yeah, be glad we have uh, drones from Femi, Hubson, and DJI. That's what Yeah, I'm absolutely. Um, I wanted to take a, take a couple of minutes here. Um, and, and Ron alluded to it. Um, Valerie and I had, um, let's, let's just call it um, a horrific Saturday. And, um, I wanted to share a little bit. Um, this is our this is our dog. Her name's Dioji, and it's just th that as, as it sounds. And this is this is her out on the back porch. Um, she's just enjoy enjoying things out here, and you really can't tell that anything's wrong with her. Okay, um, you know my my wife's talking to my my stepdaughter here, but she can't tell anything's going on. But her back paws. We're, we're, we're not working at all. They It went from Wednesday where she could walk to Thursday where she couldn't walk at all. And we had to help her out with a harness to get her out to go to the bathroom. In fact, this pillow of hers, we had to drag her literally out into the lanai and out on the pavers out that you see that you see in front of her to get her to try to get her on, on to go to the bathroom. And it was just it, it was it was horrible and it was and she felt bad because she didn't like having to having to do her business on her back paws it really kind of bothered her a, a, a lot and you know it was obviously and, and one of the things i found out dogs pain receptors are different than humans pain receptors and you know while it may look like they're okay they're really not and um what we did was, and I'm going to show you a couple other pictures here. Um, this is one of my favorites, uh, Valerie holding holding her when in our we moved into our first the house before this. Um, that that's absolutely one of my favorite pictures of her. And then I did one with her with uh, we're all we're both wearing uh, penguin shirts. Uh, but what we ended up doing was um, there's an organization called Lap of Love. And what they do is instead of taking your dog to the vet to have them put to sleep, they come to your house to do it. And talk about professionalism. Talk about um, just, you know, obviously, you know, we wore masks because of COVID. She, you know, we were all vaccinated and everything, but still. Um, and she gave us so much time with her and so much space with her. Um, you know, it was it was very dignified what they did. I could not have gone better. Um, the vet does a brief examination and checked her back paws out and said, she doesn't have any circulation back there at all. Nothing. Um, you know, and then part of her belly had turned like black and blue and she thought, you know, there were, she may have had some, had some issues going on there. Um, and so, you know, it happened and, you know, we gave, we, we treated her that day. We gave her treats. We spoiled her rotten that day. And, and then it, it went, it went, 
you know, very peacefully for her. And um, what the what the vet did was backed her SUV up. So when we took her out, um, they put her on a stretcher and put a you know put a, a nice blanket on her. And you know nobody saw, nobody from the neighborhood got to see that, which I thought was that that was so well done. And one of the other things that really impressed us was we had had a subscription service through Chewy.com. And if you guys know what Chewy.com is, you know, they provide food, that prescriptions, other things you can get at discounts. Valerie called them up to tell them, you know, about, you know, you know, can, can we return these things? They said, there's no need to return it. We'll give you a credit for your food and for your medicine. If you'd like, you could give it to an organization or a friend that may, that may want that. Well, yesterday we got a got a phone call. Said, you know, do do you live at this address? We said, yeah. Well, we'll be there in a few minutes. We had flowers dropped off from us from Chewy.com and a personal note from them. Um, it it was just really well done. And you know, one of the things I can say is this. You know, I have friends. I have all kind of friends <laughs> on Facebook. You know, um, you know. And a lot of my friends from back in high school, you know, they're not the same political persuasion as me. But you know what? This cut across everything. This cut across race, political, religious, everything. And, you know, like dozens and dozens and dozens of people just, you know, can relate to this. In fact, we had a guy come out today who installed, you know, they, our security system here and was talking about it to us. Same thing happened to him just a few months ago. And and they he used Life of Love, too. Um, they do a paw print in a plaster of Paris, which will harden. We'll get to keep that and put that in a case. Um, we got some tufts of hair from her and there's a company that can make rings and pendants, um, and, and case them in plastic. And Valerie's going to get a ring made. I'm going to get a pendant made. And then part of her ashes, I'm going to get a keychain with paw prints on it. And Valerie's going to get a pendant with part of her ashes in it as well. So, you know, and, and a lot of things, you know, one of the other things that I want to say is this, okay? This is every bit as much and painful to me as when my folks had passed away. Um, you know, it really, because they're so connected, they're such a, such a part of your family. And it's really, you know, you, you can't, you, you can't distinguish it and you can't tell me, and you can't tell others who are pet owners that, you know, that, that they're not a part of your family. She, she did that. We did everything with her. Okay. And in these three months, the first three, four months of this year, you know, we spent a lot of time with her because we knew her time was waning. And that's why my video production was down. Uh, you know, I was spending a lot of time helping Valerie out with her, you know, and we were just literally spending time with her. Um, you know, she went from enjoying walks to not enjoying walks anymore. And, you know, there was a gradual progression and the vet said, you probably had a couple of months but it ended up being a lot sooner than, than, than we wanted it to. But all in all, you know, um, it's a little too quiet in the house, um, you know, and, and as far as, as looking towards getting, you know, another one, um, you know, we're at the point in our lives when, you know, I, both of us are saying well, probably not um, because, you know, one of the things she was a once in a lifetime a pet. Um, they didn't come any better than her. And, um, you know, that's the thing for me. And, and I want to thank all the guys on um, who commented on build a drone reviewer Facebook group and page and everything. That was wonderful as well, too. So thank me. Thank you for indulging me these few minutes here. And I know a lot of you are pet owners as well. And if you've gone through this, um, you know, it's just uh, I'm there with you. I, I've had Bill, to Bill, check the chat. There's a lot of great comments in the chat right now. Also. Awesome. That is awesome. Um, you know, you, you guys, you guys are great. And, and, um, uh, thank you so much. It, it really, it really made a difference, um, for us, for Valerie and I, and, um, you know, your, your thoughts and your prayers just, just mean, mean the world to us right now. And, and it's, it's kind of hard for me. Valerie works from home in the afternoon, but in the morning she goes into work. So it's very quiet here in the morning for me when I wake up and I'm getting my shower and I'm getting ready for work and getting on here. But, you know, I find myself keeping a little busier, but we've kept some things set up. We kept her bed set up and her food dish is still set up. So, and we're not going to kind of disturb that for a while because, you know, it's just like, you know, it, it's, 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 we're, we're saying goodbye gradually. And, and I think that's, the, that's kind of the thing to do with something like this. And, you know, for, for everybody deals with, with grief differently. 
But I heard one of my friends told me one thing, you know, it's as long as you keep moving through this season of grief, you know, you'll get through to the other side. And the important thing is to not stop and to do that. And, you know, um, for instance, you know, my son-in-law was great. You know, he said to me, he says, he said, my phone's always on. He says, if you need to call me and talk to me, let me know. Um, you know, I told, you know, my, my two of my kids, um, you know, I've, com I've communicated all my kids, but my younger son and, and, and my daughter were like, you know, they, they just, they, they just were heartfelt because they know they've, they've met, they've met our dog and they've been, enjoyed her so much. So, um, thank you guys for indulging me in all this, you know, it's always a great day to fly, but, but some, sometimes it's, you know, you got to go through, you got to go through these. And part of the thing of being a pet owner is there's a lot of, there, you have a lot, a lot of good days and then you have one very bad day. And that's, that's what we had this past Saturday. So guys, I'm going to sign off Ron Marcus. Thank you guys so much for showing up. We had some great conversation about that, you know, better days are ahead you know, for, for, for everybody here. And we're looking forward to getting that Xeno, Xeno mini and, and seeing, putting it through its paces. That's going to be a lot of fun. And we're looking forward to that guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, it's a great day to fly. Take care. Good night, everyone.